Hey, what's up guys? So I'm going to be talking about tribe infecting virus today and uh, reasons why the card cannot come back. And uh, not only is it just really good, but it's going to be so much better if it ever comes back uh, just because of the water support. So if you guys are unfamiliar with tribe infecting virus, it is an older card. So I'll show you guys its effect. So its effect is you can discard one card from your hand and declare one type of monster. Destroy all face up monsters of the declared type on the field. So that'll be really good against any deck that, you know, has a whole bunch of same things like uh, E-Heroes, for example, that are all warriors. So that will uh, hurt pretty bad for warriors, but, um, uh, or just any deck that just runs one type, essentially. Um, and uh, the reason why Tribe Infecting can't come back, really, is because of all the new water support. Now, uh, you know, the Atlanteans and the Mermails, both of them have effects when they're discarded by a water monster's effect. And that is what Tribe Infecting is. He is a water monster. So that is a reason why Tribe Infecting Virus cannot come back. And um, other things to uh, also note is a lot of people are showing lists with, uh, like, supposed of ban list, but they're showing Bryanak always at ban. And the reason why Bryanak could be a contender uh, to be gaining ban, I'm not positive if uh, Bryanak is a card that is going to be banned, but Gungnir is also pretty good. I know Gungnir is a little bit harder to make, but if the reason why is uh, because Bryanak is a water and you can discard, um, and then the water monsters will get their effects. If Bryanak is being discarded or uh, getting banned, uh, Gungnir is pretty much just as good, and they're both really easy to make in the water deck. So I honestly don't see why Gungnir wouldn't go as well. Gungnir is pretty good as well. I know Brynak is, again, easier to make, but the thing is, in the water deck, they're both super easy to make. And uh, if Brynak is basically getting banned because of the water archetype getting so much support and uh, Brynak being able to uh, discard cards, then I think Gungnir should probably go away as well because this card's pretty good as well. So those are just my thoughts because I've had so many people show off lists that had tribe infected virus coming back from one and I'm like no. But once I see tribe I'm like you know I'm not gonna really even bother checking the rest of this list because if tribe comes back this game will go crazy because of the water sport. Even if this card is at one because tribe infecting virus is not a once per turn and that's basically why tribe infecting virus is just so good plus he has decent attack he's at least 1600 attack too so yeah those are my thoughts on tribe infecting virus and why it cannot come back so there it is for you guys but uh if you have reasons why you think tribe infecting virus is fair i would love to hear why you think this card uh, could possibly come back uh just your thoughts on it um but yeah i personally don't think it'll come back quite for a long time. Maybe if they ban all the water archetype, which they can't really ban every card in the water archetype that uh, is just coming out, and that's why Tribe can't come back. But thanks for watching, guys. H9's White Dragon, signing out.